first hour or second, third hour, and it didn't record volume. So now you can see my little little voice thing talking. Test, <laughs> test. No words. No. Okay. So, all right. So let's take a look at the next one here. Oh, baby. 2001. Hopefully we'll get through this one. Answer the following questions about acetosalic acid. It's an active ingredient in aspirin. The amount of acid in a single aspirin tablet is 325 milligrams. Yet the tablet has a mass of two grams. <whistles> Sounds like a lot of filler. Calculate the mass percent of the acid in the tablet. Ooh, this is tough. Okay. So we know we have 325 milligrams, also known as 0.325 grams. And it's in what size? Three grams. Two? Okay, yeah. Thank you. I thought it was two. Like, I don't know. Two grams times 100 equals something, I hope. 16 and a quarter? We'll say 16.3. That was a, that's a tough point, guys. All right. Da, 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 da. Letter B says the elements contained in the acid are hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. The combustion of three grams of the pure compound yields 1.2 grams of water, 3.72 liters of dry carbon dioxide measured at 750 millimeters of mercury and 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the mass in grams of each of each element in the three gram sample. I'm gonna do that over here. Are we gonna have to do an empirical Girl, you will always be ready for an empirical formula. That's what I wanna hear. Okay, so we have this carbon, hydrogen, oxygen compound reacting with oxygen, sorry, to form water and carbon dioxide. We have 1.2 grams of that in a three gram sample. We also have 750, 372, that's what I wanted. 372 liters, is it 750 millimeters of mercury? Okay, at 25 degrees Celsius, also known as 298. All right, so we need to find the mass of the hydrogen. Sorry, the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I'll start with the what terror. So I'll find the hydrogen first. So I've got 1.2 grams of water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So in one mole of water, that's 18 point, yeah. And in one mole of water, we have two moles of hydrogen. But since this wants to know how many grams, in one mole of hydrogen, it has 1.008 grams. We'll find that. Didn't this bring back the fun memories? Yeah, oh. <laughs> so point one three four grams of hydrogen. Okay. Let's look at the carbon dioxide or the carbon. So it sounds like we got a little PV equals NRT action. And what should we be looking for? N, excellent. Okay, so when rearranging, PV over RT equals N. So we've got our pressure. I'm going to leave it at 750 millimeters of mercury. The volume is 3.72. If you wanted to convert that to atmospheres, that's fine. The R... 62.36. Am I making that up? Thank you. Awesome. Haven't used that in a while. 
leader promote Kelvin. And then 273 plus 25 is 298. And that'll give me a number of moles of something. So 750. Point one five zero ish. Okay, so then let's do the same thing in one mole of carbon dioxide. Uh, that's thirty no forty four point zero two one one. Sorry, and then one mole of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop. My bad. Sorry. Sorry for that language as well. Yep, yep. We don't need to do that. So in one mole of carbon dioxide, we have one mole of carbon. One mole of carbon is 12.01. And then, so we'll grab that. Times 12.01. So 1.8, zero. And then, ooh, how do we find the, the dreaded oxygen? Add the other two. That's facts. So it's three grams of the whole kick of caboodle minus the <laughs> point one three four grams. Plus what we just found, the 1.8. Bless you. So 0.3. Oh, 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 oh. 3.0. My bad. Minus that plus that. Is it 1.06? I do that right? Yep. Grams of oxygen. All right. We got our... Hmm? And I think that's all it wanted. Calculate them. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're not going to argue that. All right. A student, part C... Yeah, we got time. Part C, a student dissolved 1.625 grams of pure acid in distilled water and titrated the resulting solution to the equivalence point using 88.43 milliliters of a 0 0.102 molar so man, that is odd. sodium hydroxide. Assuming that the acid has only one ionizable hydrogen, in other words, it's monoprotic, calculate the molar mass of the acid. Let's go. Oh, baby. A pure. Ooh, I didn't see that. Thank God that word's there. What does that mean? Nothing but the acid. So when I have 1.625 grams of it, it's not 16.3%. It's the whole kick of caboodle. This is like a this is another gift from the chemistry gods. Holy moly. That's facts. So part C, we have. Wow, those are some weird numbers. 88.43. 80, right for me. 88.43 milliliters. One liter of a blah, 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 point, point, 0.102 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. That's some weird numbers. 88.43 times 0 0.102 divided by 1,000. So 0 0.00902. Or whatever my calculator says. Yeah, there's more to it behind that. All right, so that is moles, correct? How in the world could we ever possibly 
find the molar mass of the acid. Yep, so at the equivalence point, the moles of the acid are equal to the moles of the base. So molar mass, what are the units for molar mass again? So molar mass is grams per mole. Do we not have the moles already? Do we have the gram amount? Yeah, we do, right there. So one point... 1.625 grams in the point zero zero nine zero two or whatever my calculator says. So 1.625 divided by, grab it, 180.158. And since it's more mass, you don't need to round that. Look for beautiful questions like that. Find the molar mass. Here's 13 grand. Find the molar mass at the equivalence point with this acid and this paper. It's like, thank you. All right, letter D. Holy moly. Uh, a two times 10 to the negative three mole sample of the acid was dissolved in 15 milliliters of water and then titrated with a 0.1 molar NaOH. The equivalence point was reached after 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide had been adding, added. Using the data from the titration, using the data from the titration shown in the table below, determine, ah, okay. So let's see here. We're looking for something here. Uh, I, the value of the acid dissociation constant for the, for the acid. So we have that mole amount. We have 50 mils of water then we have that so it looks like they're wanting us to get a molarity so that pure thing there and then the equivalence point was reached here at 20 mils so hmm. so half equivalence would be at 10 yeah there you go so you get your 20 mils there. So at 20, then here is our half equivalence. So what do we do there? Correct. So remember that at the half equivalence point, half equivalence point, pH of the acid is equal to the pKa value of the acid. And since we have 3.4, take the anti-log of the negative 3.44, 10 to the x, negative 3.44, gives me 3.63. Yeah, three times 10 to the negative four. Yes. Okay. All right. So there's your Ka value. And then double I, the pH of the solution after a total of 25 mils of the sodium hydroxide solution had been added. So what do we do there? This is kind of a dirty question. Okay, so remember at... Oh, it's exceeded the equivalence point. Right, remember oh. at the equivalence point, the HA is gone. Well, it's going to be definitely above 8.13 for sure. Okay, so what we have at 25 mils is 5 mils of pure NaOH. Is that true? Okay. So we don't take 25 mils of that. We're going to take 5 mils. And what was the 0.1? Okay. So we've got our 5 mils of our 
At 20. It said a 20. Just in AOH. Yep. Ah, poop. Okay. Say that again. By the total volume. So we have 25 plus. Yeah, 15. So, yep, I like that. 40 mils. And then you can find out that's the hydroxide concentration. Here, let's do that. What is it? I haven't typed it in. By 0 .04. I got 0 0.125. I think I did something. Okay. So let's see. So 0 0.125, that's hydroxide. So pH is equal to 14 minus negative log of the OH. What's up? So 14 minus. Thirteen. I did. Dang it! Right. Nice. What's up? Yes, but you have to take it tomorrow.